How does it work? Congratulations. You just made your own electromagnet. But first of all, what is an electromagnet? Well, an electromagnet is a piece of metal that becomes magnetic when you flow electricity around it. So to understand how the metal nail became magnetic, we first need to understand what makes something magnetic. As you learned before, everything is made up of atoms, tiny little particles called atoms. And an atom has even smaller things called electrons spinning around in them. These electrons can make the atoms slightly magnetic if they're all spinning in the same direction. Most of the time they're spinning in different directions so it doesn't become magnetic. Some types of metal like iron and copper have a special property that makes it so that their atoms can group together and all line up so that all of their electrons are spinning in the same direction. And when that happens, the metal becomes a magnet or the metal becomes magnetic. Well, when we make things out of metal, like a paper clip or a nail, we have to melt it and then let it dry in the shape that we want. When metal dries with no magnets around them or, or no magnetic field around them to line up the atoms, they all end up pointing in different directions and so the metal is not magnetic. So you might guess that that is how we actually make a magnet. We let metal dry or become solid within a strong magnetic field and that causes all the atoms to line up in the same direction as the magnetic field and all the electrons stay spinning in the same direction and that causes the metal to be magnetic. Well, in this experiment, the neat thing that we did is even though the nail was had dried and it's not magnetic the way that it is, and even though that nail seems perfectly solid and that nothing can really happen to it, the atoms inside of it can still be temporarily moved and changed. And when we coiled that wire around it and started running electricity through it, it started attracting the electrons that are in the atoms of the nail and it started lining them up and pointing them all in the same direction and when that happened it caused the nail to become magnetic. But it's not permanent and when the electricity stops the atoms go back to their original position and the magnetic field goes away. I like this experiment because it shows that even perfectly solid things like the nail deep down inside are still quite movable and have a lot that can be done to them on the atomic level. Now go print off your worksheet to do more activities to make this into a true experiment and learn more about electromagnets.